Just a quick reminder guys, this channel update is best enjoyed with headphones on. With all of this aside, please enjoy the video. Everyone, Spartan Commander 1990 Chief Editor of Disabled Gaming Reviews here, coming here with another channel update, giving you guys the inside scoop on what's going on with the channel over the next couple of months. As part of the course, I'll be starting things off with a quick health update. Well, guys, in terms of my epilepsy situation, there's absolutely no change whatsoever. But don't worry, guys, it's meant to be the good way. It's been well over a year since my last seizure, so the effectiveness of this medication increase is as clear as day. However, though, there is to have been through the odd aurora. Aurora is definition one, a medical term used to describe the feeling of lightheadedness epilepsy sufferers such as myself would normally go through before a seizure hits. Therefore, in the majority of cases, an epilepsy sufferer can literally feel a seizure coming. However, these auroras have never really materialized. That, my friends, is just my medication increase actually working. I have an appointment with the epilepsy nurse next month. I'm not anticipating a lot of action to be taken during this appointment due to the positive results of the medication increase. The system of six months checkups on my epilepsy in the same way that a dentist does allows quick reactions to any change in my condition as and when they happen. Right with this heft update out of the way, it is time for an update as to what's going on and the reviews out of the channel. Right, so in terms of the review side of the channel, we can formally announce that our dedicated retro gaming series Retro S has been sponsored by yet another local business. This time it is the Tabletop Gaming Realm Dominion. They specialize in trading card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and classic tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons. Looking for a little immersion to your D&D campaign? Why not check out and hire their dedicated rooms? Now, the Retro Gaming Takeover is scheduled to end in August. To sound out the year, however, I am thinking of extending the takeover a third and final time until the end of the year. Pending a decision on this matter, please stay tuned to this channel for more information as it comes. Now, throughout the summer, focus will be shifted from the review side of the channel to the Let's Play side of the channel. A good few weeks earlier than last year. Now, here's the reason why. The 20th anniversary of my accident in 2004 is no more than 11 weeks away and amongst other things that are playing on my mind, so I have decided to take a break from reviews with the odd exception or two, for example, a possible review of Kingdom Hearts 3, which was released on Steam on the 13th of June. Oh, speaking of which, it's time for an open question. As I have said before, the entire Kingdom Hearts series is being ported from the Epic Games Store to Steam. Were you holding out for the inevitable release of this series on Steam? Or have you previously bought this title on the Epic Games Store? If so, are you going to double dip for these ones? And as always, let me know down in those comments. With all of these big announcements aside, let's go over what's going on in the Let's Play set of the channel. So to kick this Let's Play update off, grab a nice comfy seat, it's time for story time. Now recently there has been a quite a lot of things that has been affecting my overall mental health. For example, attending a reverse job fair with no progress in terms of finding paid employment. And of course, the 20th anniversary of my fall in 2004 I previously mentioned. So I've decided to take an afternoon off in Glasgow for escapism and of course to clear my head for all these stuff. I went through the numerous comic book stores in the hope of tracking down a Jack Specific 13 inch Tales 9 plush from Sonic Prime. So I tried a variety of comic book stores and geeky toy shops, for example, Tokyo Toy Shop in the Union Street, G1Comics.com in the Tron Gate, Geekaboo on Queen Street, and finally a last roll of the dice for Ben Planet and Socky Hall Street, all of which to no avail. So when I was in Forbidden Planet, a small voice shouting out, Wait, don't leave me here, was heard. The voice itself came from this little dude. He was 9.99 and I had a terror change in my pocket. He just had to be bought. So, this little dude will be assisting me in the up and coming Let's Play project. What is this Let's Play project, you ask? 
Well, everyone, take a look at this. The reason why this particular update was chosen was because of a result of a stupid wager. The original plan was to start this project on the 30th of May. However, my next door neighbour across the street from me, Gail Mithrandir Murray, took advantage of my little plush hunt to move the start date four days forward. After all, he has been waiting numerous years for this Let's Play project to happen. So although a 9 plush was not found, he decided to use a technicality. Because the Jack specific plush related to Tales was found and bought in Glasgow, he argued that he won said wager and the move should be implemented. So I had to agree, so... Well played, Gil. Well played. Now the playthrough of episode 2 will immediately be followed by the playthrough of the game which until last year I never thought I ever had a chance to play, Half-Life Alex. Between these two playthroughs, as a tribute to the effort of the modding team, I will be counting down my top 6 PC gaming mods and then I'll be going straight into Alex itself. A third possible game for this project is now dependent on the outcome of the Roland Garros Tennis Championships over in Paris. Yes, both Gil and I are both tennis fanatics. So he was so convinced that the Spanish King of Clay, Rafael Nadal, will win the men's singles, we decided to put an impossible Let's Play of Portal 2 on the line, which pretty much made us watching these tennis championships a lot more interesting. Alrighty then, this is more or less everything we wanted to cover in this channel update, so it's best for us to sign off.